Evening everyone, I just thought uh, I'd just show everybody the new 275 and some of the functions which it does uh, when you're buzzing around on your own and what have you. Um, there's uh, there's four main bits to press which are touchscreen. We've got the speed at the top, we've got a heading or track button at the bottom, an altitude button and also a Q&H. Only Q&H. Don't, whatever you do, stick in uh, QFE in that. Leave the QFE for your normal altimeter because that will bring us bring you terrain warnings um, up unnecessarily. So if you wanted a flight 90 knots for example you can just put that in there and you can just have a, and all that all that's gonna do is just give you a little bug on the speed tape of uh, for your speed. Same with your track if you wanted to fly a fly track of 270 you can just set 270 and you can see there at the bottom there's a little bug which helps you. Obviously when we get the HMR, HSI setting there, that would be obviously a lot better, but at the moment we've just got this here. The really, really good one is, um, is, the altitude part, is the altitude one. So if you press the top there and then put in, I don't know, uh, I've just come underneath Farnborough. Uh, that, the clearance for that was remain under 1,900 feet. So I set 1,600 feet um, to fly. 200 foot buffer on that, so 17, 18. If I went over 1,800 feet, it bleeped at me to warn me I was going over 800 feet and obviously the reverse if you go down. So that's really good if you're flying underneath airspace or something along them that lines. And again, it puts it puts um, a little bug on the right hand side there you can see moving up and down. Q&H, well that speaks for itself. Just set the Q&H for the day in there. The same as you would on the altimeter. The rest is really, really cool. It is sitting about two degrees nose up at the moment, which will get realigned when we uh, when we get the base maps um, put in. But it's uh, really good functions, guys. Like I said, this one here is really really worth putting in, especially if you're flying underneath um, some airspace. Just allow yourself a few thousand, a few hundred feet, but it will alarm if you go 200 feet off of that predetermined um, altitude. All right, any problems with it or what have you? Give me a call. Bye now.